what's up what's good what's going on family so i want to jump in and i want to do a quick reading i want to see what is it that you don't see coming okay so ooh, let's see what's going on yeah sorry i know i could have done this beforehand but you know shit happens because this reading is going to be for your Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? All right, Spirit, what is it that's, what is it that, um, what is it that Sagittarius doesn't see coming their way? What is it that Sagittarius needs to be made aware of that they don't see coming their way? The time here is 1234. That is progression, one, two, three, four. And then we have a mirror reflection, um, so 20. So what you're not seeing coming is there is some sort of opportunity that is coming that is mirroring back something to you, okay? So what's coming in for the Sagittarius Ninth House Collective is a mirror opportunity, an opportunity for you to see yourself and or a different or end or a situation from a different perspective. Okay. This is going to require patience. Um, March the 20th could be significant here. Hmm. How is this mirror reflection situation showing up, Spirit? How is it showing up here for Sag? I do see a disco ball. So you can meet this person out and about, or you could be in this situation while out and about at a party. Let me see. Show me how this mirror situation shows up in Sagittarius's life. How does it show up? Thank you. The Hierophant. Oh my, big balls. In the form of a commitment, in the form of a relationship. This could just be literal and it could just be a Taurus, okay? What is the opportunity that is being presented here, Spirit? Oh my goodness. Happiness is the opportunity. The Sun card is what is being offered here. The opportunity is the Sun card. What is challenging this situation? The Ten of Pentacles. Family, family, money, um, tradition. What is the advice to navigate this? Temperance, patience. Um, and where is this headed? Where is this headed? Oh my goodness, the Empress. And show me Sag from the bottom of the deck, the four swords. Well, let's just take a moment to reflect here. What's anchoring this reading? The six of cups. Ooh, something about March 20th, March 21st could be significant. I did see hello again. I did see it. I just wasn't going to say nothing. And then we've got the how you're showing up is the four of swords anchored by the six of cups. So there's definitely something that you're um, like, there's something that you're resting and recovering from your um, how you're showing up is someone who is resting, probably taking care of the home front. You've healed from a past situation or you are in the process of healing. You are taking a, a therapeutic look at a, at a past situation that caused a lot of pain. You're about to run into a relationship. Okay. This could be a Taurus. This could be a Leo. This could be a Libra. It could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be any of that. Okay. Um, but this is definitely an opportunity to reflect on your happiness. I, I want you, I'm just going to throw this out there. The opportunity here is the sun card. They are cradling a pregnant tummy here. Where this is all headed here is the Empress. So this is definitely an opportunity to grow something that will be fruitful in the long run. That Empress, you can still be an Empress in your 80s, in your 60s. When the eggs and the ovaries is dust, you can still be an Empress. But at what way do you create? Okay, 
what ways does an empress of that maturity, how do you create? There's the opportunity to create that here in this mixture that I'm looking at. But in order for you to receive it, there does there is a need to make sure that you're looking at this through reflective lens and not so much a judgmental lens, okay? So this could be a Taurus. Let's look at this. How this mirror is showing up is the Hierophant. What is this Hierophant energy? Guys, that can be a Taurus or that could be a relationship. And I'm feeling like that it's a relationship with all of the cards that I'm looking at here. There could be like some sort of difference in like your economic class or something like that with the Ten of Pentacles being in the challenging position. Or there could be something taboo about this relationship. Like there could be a difference. Let's just see what the star card in the reverse is how this is showing up. I definitely feel like that there is um, this is definitely a person. Okay. This is definitely showing up as a person. I feel like that um, there's something non-traditional about this situation. There's something that may seem unrealistic about it, okay? I feel like that this person, this relationship is mirroring back some sort of, some sort of pessimistic mindset. So if the two of you all are mirroring back one another, a pessimistic mindset, it's going to be crucial for someone to think high vibrational thoughts especially if that's what the two of you all are mirroring back to one another. Because if you're mirroring one another from a pessimistic mindset, then this connection is already doomed. So it is going to require someone to like kind of step up and confront this pessimistic energy to bring it into, I don't know, bring it out of this delusional state and into something that's more realistic. Let's see. Show me more on this Hierophant energy for how this is showing up. Guys, if at any point in time during this reading you find that it's resonating, we would, yeah, uh, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. The Ace of Pentacles. So this is definitely showing up as a fresh start, a new opportunity to have a relationship that where there where there is pessimism. Okay. So some of y'all, this is somebody that you know. We just going I'm not gonna run away from it. If that's not your story, I understand it. Don't don't lurch latch onto that part or just exit off the video. But this is a this is a brand new opportunity to do relationships differently. However, there is a pessimistic perspective over doing this again or doing like or just giving another go around to relationships yeah it just seems like it's unrealistic to give this situation an another opportunity is what i'm hearing the opportunity here is the sun card the opportunity here is the sun card there's definitely an opportunity here a bountiful one at that we have, this could be with the Pisces, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. See, we have the Hanged Man, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. So the opportunity is to shine some sort of light on the strife over like some sort of family issue. Okay, give me just one second, guys. Um, so I definitely feel like that the opportunity here is to consider this situation from another viewpoint, okay? The, the, the opportunity is to shine a light on this situation from another perspective. And I feel like we already had the, I thought we seen the hanged man somewhere, but um, I think it was in this deck, but it's here actually on the board. Now the hanged man is here in the board with the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. And then we have this Patience cards here, which speaks about yield. yield. And, you know, when you're merging into traffic, you know, 
you have to, you yield because you need a, can't just use your mirrors. You know what I'm saying? You have to use all perspectives, all viewpoints. Yeah. And guys, I didn't even notice that the eight of cups is here at the bottom of the deck. So the opportunity is to not walk away from this. However, I do feel like that there is a different perspective that needs to be gained in order for you guys to see which direction to walk towards. Okay. Now this 10 of pentacles is showing up twice and it, the 10 of pentacles that came out to clarify the sun card does have the three of swords right on top of it. The 10 of swords, that, I mean, the 10 of pentacles that's already out here is in the challenge and position. So there is some sort of um, contingency around a family dynamic or around finances, okay? Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is talking about. Yeah, um, the King of Pentacles just kind of fell into my lap and it's in the reverse. So I definitely feel like that there's someone is too money, like there could be too much focus on material matters, okay? What's going on here with um, this Ten of Pentacles in the challenging position? Thank you, Spirit. The Four of Swords, which is how you're showing up. That is how the Four of Swords is how Sag is showing up here. The Ace of Swords, the Moon card, and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so here's what I, here's the challenge here. I do feel like that there's, yeah, the Queen of Cups. I do feel like that whoever this is, there is some sort of contingency over finances here. I do feel like that there's too much focus on finances here. And I do feel like that there is clarity to have some sort of brand new, fresh, some sort of brand new opportunity. But there is a need to really become clear and remove any illusion as it pertains to the material world. Like, what are your financial expectations? What are your fine? Like, what are your personal financial insecurities? You need to address them. This person needs to address their financial insecurities. And then the two of you all need to address this as one. And if this isn't actually about finances, then it is actually about the practicality of how you do relationships. There is an un unrealistic expectations about the practicality of how you expect to navigate this partnership. So it's one of the two, finances and material, like, like property or the practicality of how you navigate relationships based off of tradition and upbringing. Okay. Then and only then can you have a prosperous fresh start here. Let's get into this temperance because this is your advice, which is yield, be patient, gain this new perspective. And, you know, temperance speaks about a little bit of this and a little bit of this to alchemize something that works for us. Even if this exact same formula doesn't work for someone else, it's the perfect formula for this connection or this situation here. Let's see. Temperance for the advice. Why is this here? The magician, the empress, and the six of swords in the upright. Yeah. So I like the advice here is to be patient. Um, be patient in areas where this person may be lacking resources or where you feel like you may be lacking in resources. Be patient. These are the things that are coming to you. Don't like, I feel like that, to be honest with you, with me saying that this is, or with the card saying that this is a mirror connection for you, I feel like that this is someone that is going to kind of like feel like that they're not in the place materially to have a relationship with you. And you're like, yeah, but like you make sense in every other aspect. But this person is really mirroring back to you where you feel inadequate and you have to keep that in mind. But I do feel like that with patience, um, and with proper communication, perspective shifts, I do feel like that this is able, because we have the Empress to the Six of Swords. So I do feel like that that is you, like the, with patience, you will be able to navigate away from this. What does it say? It says letting go of old, bad ideas. So I definitely feel like that you're going to be able, with patience, the two of you all are going to be able to navigate away from this lack mentality this pessimistic mindset, but it is going to require patience here. 
Yeah, with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords cuts away things that no longer serve you. And it's going to require some truths to be spoken along the way here. So where this is all headed is the Empress energy, which is now here on the board twice. This is a beautiful reading. Um, yeah, the worst of this situation is over. I do feel like that the deep wounds within this situation are going to take time to heal. They are going to be slow healers, but they are healing. Like where this is headed is it, it, it's headed to you cheer, cheering up again, okay? It's, it's, it's headed towards you um, engaging in new energies, engaging in new frequency, okay? Yeah, three of pentacles. Absolutely. I'm going to be honest with you for a lot of you all. Um, this is, I like, I'm just I, for, like, for a lot of you all, this is after a time of a break from someone. This is re, this is a, this is trying to collaborate again. Okay. For some of you all, this is a horrible ending. You took some time to heal from that. And now you're getting a brand new person and you're trying to collaborate again, like you're learning to collaborate all over again from our health, from a healthier mentality with a brand new person. Some of you all, majority of you, like, I'm not even gonna say, I don't know how much of you all it is, but for some of you all, this is learning to collaborate a brand new way with someone that you already know. Sag, you're showing up as the Four of Swords. Why is Sag showing up as the Four of Swords here? I do feel like that you have, like, I, I feel like that you've taken some, like, taken some time to do some healing is how I feel like Sag is showing up. I do feel like that there is this mental preparation energy here. This is really putting me in mind of the reading that I just done for Aries over on TMA. And I kept saying ninth house in that. So someone may have Aries in your ninth house. You may need to go check that out or your Jupiter may be in Aries or something like that. Let me see, Spirit. What's this um, four of swords for how Sag is showing up inside of this? Yeah, the King of Cups, I love it. In the upright, in the Four of Cups is in the reverse. In the Four of Cups in the reverse for me speaks about gaining a renewed interest in things. Okay, so re regained interest in the world again. And with the King of Cups, this is from a diplomatic standpoint. This is with a more emotionally mature and emotionally maturated perspective. Whereas there could have been a chance where you just kind of like, went out there and explored the world from this naive perspective and it kind of got mauled up really good. And so I've got Sagittarius actually doing some healing to come to a place of emotional intelligence so that you can enjoy life without being completely exposed, but yet offer the opportunity of openness, right? I definitely, I definitely feel like that there is some sort of like you're ready for something new. You're ready. I definitely feel like that you're you're ready for something new, and I feel like that you're going to get it in the form of a like in the form of some relationship that is going to mirror back to you some sort of pessimistic mentality that you have on relationships. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Be patient with yourself. Don't ignore the wise guidance that comes to you through this connection. I'm going to get one of these and then I will look at the potential of this uh, mirror connection. What is the clarifying life situation for Sagittarius as it pertains to this storyline? Right track. This is my Ace of Swords. This is definitely my Ace of Swords, which means the Ace of Swords is here twice now. It says you're going in the right direction, so keep moving forward. And then we have Ignite Creations, Harness Innovation, Fuel Imagination, and Witness Manifestations as answers unfold in your journey of discovery. So I definitely feel like that this, like, this is... You're supposed to experience this, okay? So definitely experience it with openness. And as I pull this deck out, look what's at the bottom. Men sows. I'm not saying that's for everybody, but I am saying that that is for somebody. Somebody that feels like, damn, this is a personal 
this um, is definitely seeming like someone that you already know. What is the potential of this um, Hierophant situation with Sagittarius? Like, what is the potential between this Hierophant situation and Sagittarius? Tenderness. Having a gentle spirit and being able to care deeply. Expression. Being able to share your feelings openly. I felt it. I'm like, this is... It's, yeah, love song. Let love's melody inspire you to dance together. This is men's souls. This is a beautiful connection here. Um, I do feel like that there are going to be some challenges between the two of you all. I won't sugarcoat it, which is why the patience is needed here. Okay. Um, but I do feel like that if you're willing to look at the challenges that you and this person have from a reflective lens and not so much a, you're doing this and I don't understand why you're doing this and da 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 Like, it, yes, address those issues, but when addressing them, address them from a reflective mentality. This is nice. This is absolutely, this is lovely. Let's roll the dice and see who this can be for my Sagittarian Ninth House Collective. This could be an Aquarius. This could be a Leo. This could be a Libra. This could be a Libra. We've got Aquarius on the board. We've got Pisces on the board. We've got Cancer, Gemini. All right, my loves. I absolutely love you. I hope that you were able to find some guidance in this message. If so, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do, let's choose peace. Peace, love, and light.